in Ukraine at this hour where the deadline has just now passed. A deadline set by Ukraine, the interim government there, for pro-Russian protesters and militia to get out of government buildings and put down their weapons in a number of cities in Ukraine's east. Today, the UN Security Council held another emergency session to debate this. It achieved little apart from more posturing on all sides. We will, in about 15 minutes from now, be going live to Sky News reporter Katie Stallard in Ukraine for the very latest now this deadline has passed. What happens next is unknown. We know that Ukraine has threatened the use of force, but we also know that Russian forces have about 40,000 of their numbers amassed on the border. First, this latest report from Katie Stallard on the ground. In Zaporozhnia last night, the police struggling at times failing to regain control. Pro-Russian protesters clashing with the Ukrainians who'd come to try to stand against them. The situation here is volatile and increasingly tense. Armed mask men took control of the police headquarters in Kramatorsk. They look organized, well-trained and well-armed. Russia insists these are independent incursions, nothing to do with them. The U.S. dismissed that as fiction and propaganda. Being At an emergency the meeting of the U.N. Security Council, Ukraine said it would fight back. This is not a war between Ukrainians. This situation of confrontation was artificially created with the aim to weaken and destroy Ukraine itself. End of quote. The National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine has, in accordance with the law of 2003, on combating terrorism adopted a decision to launch a large-scale counter-terrorist operation involving the special units of armed forces of Ukraine. We are not going to let the Crimea scenario repeat in the eastern Ukraine. But Moscow blames Kiev and the West. It is the West that will determine the opportunity to avoid civil war in Ukraine. Some people, including in this chamber, do not want to see the real reasons for what is happening in Ukraine and are constantly uh, seeking the hand of Moscow and what's going on. Russia's aggressive stance is a clear threat to the sovereignty independence and territorial integrity of Ukraine. The British ambassador United pointed to Kingdom NATO satellite Russia images purportedly showing up to 40,000 Russian troops massing on the Ukrainian border, along with the 25,000 already in Crimea. But as the diplomatic to and fro continues, events are moving forward on the ground. In Mariupol, they called for citizens to rise up. Ukraine's national flag aggressively cast aside. Foreign ministers will meet in Luxembourg later today to discuss consequences, possible further sanctions against Russia. So far, they've had little effect.